Na mtazamaji karibu tena kwenye taarifa hizi na shuka kwa kuendelea kusalia nami. Na sasa tuzamia hili ambapo ni siku ya tatu tangu kuwasili kwa malkia wa nchi ya Uholanzi Maxima Zoregueta ambaye alipata fursa ya kuzuru mojawapo ya vituo vya afya vilivyofanikiwa ama vilivyofanikiwa kujiendeleza kutokana na mkopo wa kidijitali unaolenga kuwafanya biashara wadogo katika sekta ya afya. Mkopo huo unaotolewa kupitia ufadhili wa Medical Credit Fund na Pharmacies umewafaidi zaidi ya wafanyabiashara sita. Kituo hicho cha huduma za afya cha Zamzam kilicho umbali wa takriban kilomita mbili kutoka jiji la Nairobi hupokea wagonjwa tatu kila mwaka. Hapo awali walikumbana na changamoto nyingi kama vile kufurushwa kutoka chumba walichokuwa wamekodisha kwa menajili ya kutoa huduma za afya. Hivyo basi msimamizi wa kituo hicho Esther Mudhoni alilazimika kufungua milango ya nyumba yake kwa manufaa ya kutoa huduma za afya kwa jamii. Where we we stand stand our our yes. 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 Yes na nimejua wataendelea kupata hizo mashini zingine. Kitambo tulikuwa tunabeba kadi. Unakuja na kadi kwa mkono yako. Kwa saa hii atubebi kadi. Sasa hii unakuja personal na una kadi lakini utatibiwa na uwezi kulipa si lazima ulipe in cash hadi. Unalipa na system ya Mpesa. Kitambo tulikuwa tunatumwa hospitali nje hawakuwa na mashini ya kupima tuli ya mtu ama kupima vitu zingine hata dawa tulikuwa tunanunua farmasi ya nje kwa saa hii farmasi iko ndani hizi e, vitu zingine ya kupima wako na hizo mashine saa hii wameimprove saa hii hakuna kitu tunanunua nje tunanunua ndani farmasi iko ndani ya hospitali zamani hawakuwa na lab saa hii wako na lab hakukuwa na hapo kwa dawa na wako na saa hii wako na maternet wako na dental kuna fisio kwa hivyo siendi fisio saa hii unafanywa ultrasound hapa lakini ile kitu ya muhimu saa hii hakuna x-ray na mostly mimi niko na shida mgongo na ningependa kupata x-ray here lakini sasa una, unaenda x-ray outside we had a program where we could be able to borrow without any collateral we did our first loan then started the improvements they had recommended but then before long we had to move this way uh, where we are currently is an easy way of borrowing because I don't need any collateral. All I need is a very active till, till phone, a till number and my phone because they are both connected. I apply using the phone and within the most it takes is about four hours and I have the cash in my account. It's also a very easy way of paying because it, it's not like any other loan. It doesn't have a specific date or a specific amount. It depends on how busy my till is. And you can commit a certain percentage of whatever is paid through the till, like 33%, 50% or 66%. Most of the times I choose 66% so that I'm able to pay very fast. And the faster you pay, you qualify for more. Like I could take a million today after paying maybe it takes two or three months i'll qualify for two or three million and it's also very flexible if things are really tight i can decide to change the percentage and even go back to 33 percent must be fully registered as a healthcare provider who's been in operation for a period of time you must be giving uh, care or uh, doing anything in the health space uh, it could even be even a nursing school, for example, you're starting a nursing school. Uh, currently, we have a trend of people who are providing uh, health management systems and they actually need financing. So we've given over 2,000 loans currently in the country, uh, totaling to around 30 billion Kenya shillings, uh, if you were to convert the numbers into a local currency. Uh, and we have like 2,000 players that are already enjoying these loans from our end. Healthcare provider and is looking for a partnership with the medical credit fund to be able to get the loan. All you need to have is an active till. 
So we'll reach out to you all. You reach out to us and we'll be in a position to integrate the tail and be able to get the loan within the shortest time possible. I think the true power has been the power of connectivity. Most Kenyans own a mobile phone, whether it's a smartphone or a simple feature phone. And that means that they're connected. They can be reached. You can be sending them mobile money. You can send them entitlements for healthcare. We've seen our partner CarePay on the ground doing that actually so the people themselves are empowered and they are in, at the center of their care journeys i think it really makes it unique if we don't put patients at the center they're left behind especially the marginalized and the poor i was really excited to have the queen here visiting today i think it's an acknowledgement of the great work that we're doing but the real acknowledgement was the story of the patients we heard today and the story of esther and her healthcare facility I think that's where the true transformation is coming from. MCF is really understanding their clients. They're really understanding their needs in terms of what type of machine they have to sort of buy, but also the working capital needs. You know, the, these clinics, they have clients that actually come with, you know, needs of actually curing their kid, but they don't have the money up front, so they also paid in installments. So the need for this clinic to be able to also pay it in installments, and that understanding, and not like a bank would actually say, you have to pay me per month so much money and so much fixed amount, well, that's not the case and that's not the reality. So understanding the underlying needs is just so important. Financial inclusion is a means to an end, not an end in itself. Mm -hmm. Financial inclusion and therefore digital financial services has to serve giving health. And so what it's actually allowed is that, you know, any mother that is here, if she doesn't have the money up front to pay for that service, uh, you know, that doctor's appointment she just had, that she every day as she has money when she's in the market, she can pay it, you know, without leaving her stall, where she's actually supposed to make money, otherwise she would actually lose from making money. Na katika juhuli za kuimarisha chama cha ODM